two hours later. Who drank my Timmy juice? Are you kidding me? Gosh, dang it, dude. This was the best Timmy juice I could have bought. Now I have no juice. I have nothing to eat, dude. You can do something useful for me. Idea. I got it. I got it. You are going to become a crawdad trap. How does that make you feel? You are going to catch me food. That is it. Let's go to the river. What is poppin' people? Welcome back to the 541 Fisherman YouTube channel. My name is Devin. I am the host for all of you guys that have not been here before. So today I am out here at the beautiful river um pretty much we just you know we're driving down the road and looking for you know nice big rapids with a pool um something calm water you know you guys tune in because you want to know how to make a crawdad trap so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that with super simple items if you want to do it on a budget uh we have the dogs with us we're going to be trying to collect some by hand too um if you guys it should be posted the day after this video is posted i'm going to be doing a how to purge crawdads now, what is purging, okay? I can see a bunch of crawdads right here in front of me, right? They're just on the bottom, just kind of big chilling around. So what happens is, you know, they're going down there, they're feeding, and they, you know, everything that they ingest, they have to poop out, obviously. So the purpose of purging is to get all of that, like, whatever, whatever it's food, you know, poop out of their body so that when you're eating them, you don't have to ingest that also. So there will be a second video for that. But without any more, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to show you guys how to build one of these. Okay, here's what you're going to need. This was the bottle that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. I'm doing it with two different kinds so you can kind of see different. This is just a regular big, I think it's a gallon, drinking water, Ugh, a knife, and then scissors to cut the bottles. You could just do it with the knife. I just think scissors are easier to do and this knife's kind of dull. And then zip ties. And obviously your choice of bait. So I got a part of a shad and then hot dogs. Those are my choice of bait, but let's kind of show you guys how to build these. Okay, so you really want to find a bottle that is very tapered and you'll see why when I put it together. I mean, I'm assuming if you have an idea of how it's gonna go, then you kind of will understand. But what you want to do is like right here at the point, right where the curve ends, which is on this point, of the body you can actually see there's just a nice flat spot so what we're going to do is we're going to you know make a puncture hole and cut all the way around that um just an fyi guys so i saw some glass and stuff on the ground there's a little bit of kind of garbage next to us make sure you guys pick up your garbage i'm going to be picking that garbage up so i can leave the area cleaner than when i came here it is just make a puncture hole and i'm actually just going to go ahead and cut all the way around with this knife because it's actually cutting pretty good go all the way around it it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. You can also use like a, a, a box cutter type thing. Set the knife down. There you guys go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and cut just part of this because obviously that hole is too small for any crawdads to get into. So we're going to cut it and then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, so here's something I'm going to kind of recommend to everybody. Take your plastic off before putting it in the river because... What happens is the glue that's on these isn't very strong. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna put it in the river and then the plastic's gonna come off and it's gonna be floating away down river and you're not gonna be able to get it. So you're just, essentially you're littering. So I'm kind of putting all my trash in a collective area and I'll put it in the bag when I'm done. This is what we did. We cut that, you can see the lid used to be right here. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take this layer here and you're going to put it back into the trap this way so this also i'm going to just mention something really quick this bottle is actually really nice because it's got some grooves on it so when those crawdads are trying to crawl up on it they're gonna have some traction um if you're new to crawdading or like you've been doing it for a while you all so here's kind of what happens okay the crawdads fall in and if i don't can the camera see that inside there so you can see that lip goes up right once they fall off of that lip into here where your bait is they can't get back out for some reason. I mean, unless there's just a mass pile of them in there, 
they're not gonna be able to get back out and i cut that hole a little big i probably should have done it smaller but whatever i can't really go back now but that's what you're gonna do we're gonna poke a few holes through it and put zip ties in there to hold it together okay so you can see i poked a hole through there put our zip tie through and just cinch it what i'm gonna do for this is you know just cinch it like that i see a lot of people that like, cut the little tag ends off i'm actually gonna leave that on there so when it's on the bottom it's actually gonna be a little handle when i go to pick it up off the bottom i can easily get it back and then we're just gonna repeat that step and put one more on this side we're probably gonna do it right here where it's wanting to pop out a bit do one there and then put some bait in it and put it on the bottom okay guys so here's kind of what happened so I had noticed this side, this flat spot here with no zip tie is the highest point. So what, I, what do I mean by highest point? Where the drop off is in there, you can see where my finger is. That's how high the crawdads that are gonna be in the bottom would have to crawl up to get out. And I'm gonna be checking these pretty regularly. You know, I have a bucket in the car that um, we get some we're gonna put in and fill it with some water so that we can catch them. I'm gonna go ahead and put some bait in this. We'll put it in the water and then uh, I'm going to repeat the process with my other jug. I'll show you guys like just a brief clip of it. And then I'll catch you guys when we're out looking for them. Okay, everybody. I did kind of a little uh, update thing. We've already got actually a few with our nets, which is awesome. Check that out. So that per the crawdad purge video is definitely going to come out. And we're probably, I'm going to, I might even like show you guys what I do to cook them. I'm not sure about that. We'll figure that out. But I found a piece of string that somebody had just left here on the ground for trash. And well, I multi-purpose it. I use a little stick to float, so I know exactly where my traps are. Um, you can see in there, I put a few rocks in there just to help sink them. Also, I just noticed something that I forgot to do to this trap, so let's do it really quick. So, take your knife. What you're gonna do, be careful, poke some holes in it like this. Because you wanna be able to, you wanna be able to have all that scent flowing in, I mean, you can't see right now, but I threw a small piece of shad down there on the bottom and they are just, they are just loaded on it. I mean, that's where we got like four of those guys. So pretty much here, we just have enough holes poked in this. Oh, I did the same with the other one actually off camera and I was gonna mention something and of course I forgot. So we're gonna go ahead and let's go over here and drop this guy. And then I'm gonna drop this one just kind of out here somewhere. I mean, they're all just hurting to that shad. I mean, there's so many on the bottom, but Let's walk over here really quick and we'll go put this guy in. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this guy right down here on the bottom. I can actually see there's quite a few crawdads, so throw it right there. Let it fill water, sink it real slow. Right there, it's on the bottom. Can you see it right there? there the dust yes, they there. can, right? Cool, yep, that is the one on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one over there and then we're gonna go try to catch some by hand. Okay, they're on the bottom with that guy. There's a tank product, there's a bunch of them right here. So we're gonna try to net some of them in just a few minutes and then- uh, Swim around. Yeah, do some swimming. I'll catch you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, we're just swimming. We got Ella and Sage over here. I'm gonna walk over here and go grab the first- Oh, I keep stepping on them. Yeah, I know, there's so many. We're gonna pull the first top and see what's in it. I can't see anything because it's literally just chocolate soup. So I hope it's just stacked with them. That would also be super awesome. You ready? <laughs> First pull at the homemade trap. And, oh, dude, look how many's in there. Let the water drain. Dude, there's so many in there. Let the water drain out. Look at that, guys. That's awesome, dude. That's the first pull with that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ooh, those are big chunguses, too. Let's go up here really quick and we'll go count them. Okay. Wait, actually, we can just count them right here. There's one, two, three, four. There's five in there, five big fatties too. Hey, let's reach in here and just grab. Actually, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> Pull it. What do you think's in it? Oh, dude, there's so. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, there's so many in that thing. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, look at that. That thing is stacked, dude. There's so many in there. Oh my gosh, How does that guys. Even happen? Dude, I don't know. Let's go over here and go clean them out. Hey, you guys can't eat that. Get back. Get back. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. It's like, yeah, I got a, got a half gallon of crawdads here. <laughs> so that is honestly like awesome. Look, dude, those are chunguses, bro. Look at that. 
That is awesome, dude. That that is so. That cool. one's getting away. No, 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 no. So Devin, ah, ah, I got me. <laughs> oh, that hurts. So bad, <laughs> dude. Dude, he made me bleed. YouTube can't see that. Okay. Ow, that hurt. But you know what's kind of cool though is that kind of shows you that that trap thing works really good and they can't get out of it, which is kind of cool. Dude, this is a not again. Of course, it's like the literally the fattest one is of the day is what got me. No, the shad. That is all we're using as bait right there, just little pieces of shad. That guy's kind of small. He's got a fat tail, though. He just has little claws. You eat their tails? Yeah, that's what you eat off the crawdads. I thought you eat their little craws. Uh, you can if they have big enough claws to eat, but most of them don't. We're going to put a piece of hot dog back in here because they got a bunch of hot... They got all the hot dog out. That means they really like the hot dog. Yeah, the other one had both in it, but I think dude, they're literally they're still right there eating the freaking... Dude, that whole thing is nothing but caught out. And the one rock that Ada put in there. <laughs> okay, you're gonna. She was hanging on. I was worried. I'm a survivor. I didn't want. They like rocks. Maybe they'll be happy if there's a rock that feels like home. Dude, there are so many in there. This trap is actually like pretty easy to make. I'm not gonna lie. We should put more water in there. No, yeah, yeah. We'll put a little bit more water in. But I'm going to bait this one up. You guys don't need to see me put it back out. You guys have already seen me put it out. So I'm going to go ahead and... Literally... We'll put some more water in there oh. and then... Yeah, all I did was as I just put a little, few little rocks in there. And it's going to sit that way with the rope going up to the surface. I'm going to put a piece of hot dog back in here. And then uh, I'll catch you guys on the next pull. Okay, we're going to dump this guy out. They, the shad's not even in there anymore. I think they yoinked, they yoinked the shad. Look, get that guy there. This guy's got one big old pincher and a little pincher. That's Look so at that, cute. that is so cool. That's awesome, honestly guys, like that is so cool. These guys are gonna be super, super tasty. Look at that guy, big old chungus. Mm -hmm. There's not many in the old cranberry juice bottle, but uh, that's cool. So, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean all these rocks out, throw them back in the water, pick all my trash up, and that is it for the day. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you have anything cool to say in the comments, drop a comment down below. Uh, I guess this one, I can't really stay fishy. Stay crawdaddy. Oh my gosh. No, not a good that one? That is terrible. We'll Daddy. see you guys later. Bye.